So, hello everyone, I am Dr. Cheshta Agarwal, your uh, dermatology educator. I have myself scored All India Rank 261 in my NEET PG examination and it's been almost uh, 6 years or 7 years that I have been teaching all the postgraduate uh, preparing students of all exams. Now before we start the today's session of the PYQs, uh, the past year that is 2022 FMG questions, uh, let us go through some of the important announcement that on an academy. Uh, we are uh, conducting a NEET PG 2023 All Educator Ultimate Revision Batch. Uh, we are also having or uh, there is an ongoing batch of FMG December 2022 uh, which has started on 16th of September. So, I would be requesting each and every one of you to kindly be a part. There is a question bank 2.0. So, I would be uh, asking all of you to please go and access it because it is available. And uh, also, if you need to get an access, you might need a code. For all these batches, you can use a code which is JSTAR10. So, kindly use this code and avail yourself the 20% or 10% discount, whatever is running right now. Now, starting with the first question in FMG 2022, one question which we got uh, recently is that the Cobinus phenomena is seen in all except. I want all, everyone to please give me the answer of this question. Cobner's phenomena is seen in. Cobner's phenomena is seen in. Great. Uh, please remember the correct answer of this question is. They are asking all except. So, psoriasis, vitiligo, lichen planus, all these three have Cobner's, but herpes simplex do not have Cobner's phenomena. Now, what is Cobner's? or isomorphic phenomena. What is this Cobner's or isomorphic phenomena? As the name suggests, whenever there is trauma and at the site of trauma, you develop the lesions of same morphology, isomorphic. This is known as isomorphic or Cobner's phenomena development of the lesions with similar morphology at the site of trauma. We have true Cobner's where the exact pathomechanism occur secondary to trauma. The example is psoriasis, vitiligo and lichen planus. There are some of the rare examples also like Darius disease, Haley-Ellie disease, lichen striatus, lichen sclerosis, iridema multiforme. Second is pseudo or false. It occurs because of auto inoculation. There is no pathomechanism. It is just the infection or inoculation of the organism. This is seen in the diseases like human papilloma virus infection, what? Or molluscum contagiosum. Molluscum contagiosum. So, we have Cobner's and we have pseudo Cobner's phenomena. Cobner's and pseudo Cobner's phenomena. The next question is on the screen a patient presented with the following lesions on the trunk. What can be the diagnosis? Patient presents to you with the following lesions. What is the diagnosis? Patient presented with the following lesions on the trunk, what is the diagnosis? So, if you read all the options, all the options are from the types of psoriasis, erythrodermic, pustular, inverse, gutted. So, all of them are the type of psoriasis. So, which is that type of psoriasis where you develop small coin shaped lesions or raindrop like lesions which are seen on the trunk as well, they are more common in the trunk as well. The correct answer of this question is gutted psoriasis. It is more common in children. It is associated with HLA CW6. Secondary to group A beta hemolytic streptococcus. Secondary to group A beta hemolytic streptococcus infection. Secondary to group A beta hemolytic streptococcus infection. So, children HLA CW6, group A beta hemolytic streptococcus infections. 
and for treating this condition you need antibiotics you will always get a history of either sore throat ear infections pharyngitis preceding these lesions you will always get such history in the exam so that is a very classical example of gut dead psoriasis next question i think it's a image based question and a frequently asked question in your exam so can anybody tell me the answer for this identify the given condition mycetoma gromoblastomycosis tuberculosis verruca cutis very nice the correct answer of this question is identify the given condition it is a very classical example of mycetoma it's a very characteristic example of mycetoma mycetoma is a triad of swelling or tumor there is presence of sinus through which discharge comes out and you have some crystals which is coming the fungal crystals which comes out of it so sinus grain and swelling these three are the very important features of mycetoma you can see that there is a lot of swelling which is present on the anterior part of the foot you have some sinuses through which the pus comes out can you see these sinuses through which the pus comes out and if you keep a gauze overnight you will see that there are some crystals which are present on the top so this is a patient with mycetoma two types of mycetoma a fungal mycetoma which is known as u mycetoma and we have a bacterial mycetoma which is known as actinomycetoma if the color of the crystal is uh, black it is u mycetoma and if it is yellow it is actinomycetoma next question is on your computer screen can you tell me the answer here what is the correct answer of this question neurofibromatosis type 1 is a hereditary condition associated with cafe au lait spots on the skin which pattern of inheritance is seen in this patient's condition anyone type 1 neurofibromatosis very nice it is an autosomal dominant what are the features cutaneous features you have cafe au lait macule which are the lesions present soon after birth then we have neurofibromas which are soft sessile or pedunculated masses coming out of the skin we can have nodules on the iris which is known as iris leash nodules what else we can develop in neurofibromatosis other than these three we can also have some pigmented macules on the axilla or the groin which is known as crow's sign or axillary frackling and please remember this is a pathognomonic lesion other than this you can see a positive family history you can see the sphenoid bone defect in these individuals and in few cases even you can see optic gliomas which is one of the presenting feature so the mode of inheritance here is autosomal dominant the next question a 26 year old female presented with scaly skin on histopathology neutrophils are present what can be the diagnosis this is a very characteristic thing please remember presence of neutrophils on the histopathology is the pathognomonic histopathological feature of if you can answer this much i think everything is done very nice so please remember everyone that the presence of neutrophils in the histopathology specifically in the epidermis if you see the presence of neutrophil it's a very characteristic feature of psoriasis and this is something called as micromundro abscess this is something called as micromundro abscess it is histopathological hallmark of psoriasis so if somebody is presenting with this you have to think of psoriasis So thank you all of one. I hope you have enjoyed this class. We'll have many more such sessions. If you want to subscribe an academy, kindly use the code JSTA10. Thank you all of you and good day.